today we have a big old box from my friends over at ECS Tuning. And I can pick it up with one hand, which means only one thing. More carbon fiber. So this video is brought to you guys by my friends over at ECS Tuning. They were kind enough to send over some more carbon fiber for the S4. If you remember, back in the summer they sent us the diffuser, the carbon fiber strut bar in the engine bay, and the carbon fiber antenna cap. Now we have some carbon fiber for the front of the car. I think it's really going to complete the front end look. If you're interested in these parts that I'm about to unbox and install in my car, there's a link at the top of the description. If you click through there, it lets them know that you came from my video. I'm very excited for this. This has been a mod that I've been eyeing for quite a while, and uh, the folks at ECS came through. So let's open it up, see what it is. Oh, this is the best feeling. When you open car parts that I've had these for a little bit and I just haven't been ready to put them on the car. It's the best feeling opening car parts that have been sitting there and it's finally time to, you know, make it happen. What are these? Oh, some ECS tuning stickers. Very nice. Inside the box is another box and another box and some 3M tape and a bunch of this poppy stuff. That was a good one. I'm gonna put a poll on the screen just out of curiosity. If you had these two boxes, which would you open first, little or big? I'm going little box first. These are very, very, very well packaged. Let's open this guy up. No, we still have more unpacking to do. Sorry, I totally lied to you guys. Look at that, look, look, look. Got a little carbon, little carbon peeking through there. And up there, come on. Woohoo! there we go. All right, so here is a long strip of carbon fiber. It's got 3M tape on the back of it, and this is actually gonna go over my fog light grill, which is currently silver and doesn't work with the rest of the color scheme. So, very excited for that. That should fit really nice. The big box, which if you voted for the big box, like, honestly, I probably should have opened that first, but whatever. And here again, we have two little boxes. This time the bags aren't sealed, so that's kind of nice. And we open this up to find even more. Carbon fiber. Look at that. Now this is a fog grill surround. So this is gonna go on the outside of my fog grills. Um, I'll install these in a second so you see what I'm talking about. But I really like these. I think they complete the front end of the S4 a lot. Um, just by making this line a little bit more pronounced outward, you'll see when it's on the car. But it makes the front end look wider. It makes it look more intimidating. I've been eyeing these for a while. I'm super excited to be installing them on my car. While I'm here, I also wanted to clarify that while I do work with a couple different companies, I don't install parts on my car that I genuinely dislike. So this is something that I've been eyeing for a while and so I contacted ECS about. This is not something that ECS contacted me and said, hey, make a video, we need you to make a video on this. No, I asked for this specific product because this is something I'm interested in and that way I can give you guys an honest review and be honestly excited like I was when I opened the box and see something like this. So, just wanted to put that out there. Let's, uh, let's go get these installed in the car. Should be a pretty easy process. Just some 3M tape and uh, bada bing, bada boom. Now if you're not big on DIYs, this would be a great product for you to try installing. It's super simple, it's just 3M tape. The only thing to remember here is to prep the surface with a little bit of rubbing alcohol so the 3M tape really has something to stick to because you don't want to lose your expensive carbon on the highway. As far as telling us which side is which, you can see there's a little notch right here. This is gonna slide in right under the fog light. So this one has one on the top, the other one has one on that top, but it'll slide right in just like that. Um, I would recommend putting in the back end first over there and then pushing down the front. That seems to be the best way to make it fit. All you have to do is peel back the red tape here, stick it back there, just like that, and then just press down and hold, and the tape should begin to set. This 3M tape's really good once you put a good amount of pressure on it. It generally stays. Same thing here for this guy, we're just gonna make sure it sits on there flush, and then we'll tape it down. All right, again, remember to prep the surface so you don't have to do it twice like we just did. Right there, yeah. I can see it line up right here, if you look on this side. Oh, that looks really nice. Woo! You guys are gonna have to pardon the bugs on the front of the car right there. Um, that's a casualty of driving. Super happy with how the carbon fiber came out and the fitment here. Um, I've had it on the car for about two weeks now and it's just, it's still there, it's still perfect. Now what I'm talking about as far as making the front end of the car look wider is if you look at that, the car used to be round there and now because it's poking out towards me right along this line, it really adds a little bit of anger to the front end. Overall, I'm just super happy with how this looks, and it makes the front end look much cleaner and nicer. And we got rid of these stupid chrome strips back there, so that's awesome. 
Huge thanks to ECS Tuning for partnering with me for this video. If you guys need anything carbon fiber for your Audi, the link is at the top of the description. As always, thank you guys for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, it has a little bonus install. If you guys remember, I have this ECS Tuning carbon fiber diffuser. I really like the way that this product makes the back end of my car look. Let me install it, and uh, you can see the difference between no diffuser and some diffuser. I absolutely love this. And when you see an S4 with a wing or whatever, an exhaust and a stock diffuser, I think it just kind of, I don't know, it doesn't make the car. It needs to be better. So uh, I absolutely love this thing. Cannot complain.